So, all right. So we're going to talk about engineering village and EV. So what is EV and what is it good for? I'm going to talk about that, of course. And I'm going to show you how to search an EV and how to search and apply the filters. The idea with all the LCV tools and especially with EV is to save you time. Uh, but before let's start, what is EV? So EV is a search and discovery platform for engineering research. This is a way for you to find journals and papers. It's not, an, it's not a platform that gives you full access to the journals and papers because that costs a lot of money and there are many, many, many different publishers all, all of there, all, all, of the, all around. But you can have the metadata on the journals and papers and I will show you how it works. We have 13 of the most comprehensive databases available and you can see all of them. Uh, you have the uh, paper camp. And it, we cover more or less 200 engineer, engineering disciplines. Uh, we know that 20 of the top engineering schools worldwide use engineering village, so you're in good hands when you use it, uh, as well as 100 other companies and universities. Now, as I said, the idea is to save you time on search because we all know it takes a long time to search for the data that you actually need than to actually using, that then actually use the data. So here at Elsevier, we just want to save you this precious time. So you can use this time for your actual research or your actual work. With Engineering Village, you, can, you have uh, access to journals, conference proceedings, standards, dissertations, books, and patents. This is how it looks like. And this is the search bar here. This is some uh, pre-filter that you can choose from. And it's the databases that you choose. You, of course, have paper camp. And this is some news and stories that we want to share with you. Let's see it live. And now I will change to my browser. And please let me know when you can see the browser. No, we can. Yeah. Good. So here you have the databases. Uh, I have, of course, access to all of them because I need to show it to different customers. Uh, but you have paper cam, so please make sure this one is the one that is checked. And now, let me, let me show you how to search. Now, again, since this is a small group, I will. Can someone tell me um, something you're searching for? Something you're working on? Maybe that. Maybe today or this week. I can try to do it. Strength loss. Sorry, strength loss. Strings loss. Oh, sorry. Strength loss. Yes. Okay. So this is just in a, a quick, uh, sorry, a free text search. Just search like that. And you can see here all of your results. And you see this with 3,750 results, which is a lot of results. Um, it's not good because we want to limit the results. So you don't need to go over a lot of them. But it's okay, we, we only started. Now there are many things that you can choose from. First of all, you can, you, you can you have these filters here. So you can choose different date, maybe if you want specific language, but uh, I'm sure uh, most of it is here is English. Uh, document type, if you want only conference or only journal articles, for example, you can change the sorting. This is the first way to do it. The other way is here, the pane here on the left. So. You can use the different, if you know the author, author name, or uh, if you want the, the country, region, the year, the source title. If you have that in mind, you can filter uh, through that. Or you can filter by category. So you can just, let's say you want only conference article, you do that and you use limit two. Or if you know one term that you are expecting to see in the article, you can just put the term here and do limit two. There are many ways to filter it but we can use a better search option. So you can add a search field here and you can use here another term. Can you give me another term that, um, you, that can go with the strength, strength loss, maybe specific material, or specific substance that you used? CTMP. CTMP, like that? Yes. Yep. Right. And then I can, and make sure this one is end. So I'm going to search for this one and this one. I can also use or or not, okay? Now, or will give me, of course, more results and supposed to give me less results. 
So we had 3,750, now we have 47. Great. Okay, we, 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 limited, we limited the results. And you can add more if you want, just to, to, to show you the ability. And you can also add a field, but limit here, where do you want to look for it? Because you can, you can also search for uh, the name of the author and then just limit here the author. I used to, I like to do all fields because then I make sure I, I know I don't miss anything. Now we have 47. Another way to add another term is instead of, instead of using another search field, you can just use the word and, capital and here, and then use the field. So CTMP. So I'm going to get rid of that and I'm going to just launch this search and I'm, I'm hoping to see the same results. Yeah, 47, okay. You can just use it in, in the same line, up to you. Again, you can always use or, and you can use not if you want. Um, and you can use this and here and add a search field. It's up to you, whatever um, you find better. Can you give me maybe another term? Just maybe we can limit it even more than 47, uh, less than 47. Um, tier, you can see the first word, word in tier. the first tier. Tier. Tier, like that? Uh, e -A -A -E -A -R. <laughs> e -A -R. Tier. Yes. Okay. Yeah, 10 records. Perfect. So here uh, we see strength, tier, and CTMP. Now um, we did something wrong. And I wanted to, I want you to see it because you asked to search for strength law, strength loss. But here we see only strength, not strength loss. How we can change it? We can use quotation marks. So the search field will know that we're looking for this term specifically, strength loss. Let's see if we find something. Maybe it's, yeah, it's too much. Let's get rid of the tier and use that. Okay, four records. And now I see um, CTMP and strength loss. If it's not, in the title, maybe after I press on it, it's in the abstract. I hope so. So here we have CDMP and strength loss. Okay, this is one of the uh, tags of the of this article. Does this make sense? Did you understand? Yes. So this, yes, this yes. is how you play around with it. Now again, um, here you have an abstract and you have metadata about this journal, but you don't have access to the actual paper, unless you as an organization have access to them. Uh, you can always choose to go to full text. And here you see if you have it or not. Um, if I have it, it doesn't, doesn't mean, it doesn't mean that you have it because I'm from different organization, of course, but maybe you have it or maybe you can just pay for, uh, for this specific article if this is what you want. I have the abstract decided, well, yeah, I need to, uh, read online, I probably need to pay for that. Yeah, more X option. So this is how you do it. If you want to see the full text, you click on that. A local full text is if your organization has on your local platform, the ability for, to see this full text. So just try both of them. And uh, if you have access, perfect. If you don't, you can choose to ask your organization to get the access to that, or maybe to pay individually, of course, ask your organization to, to re embrace you, uh, but then you can get it. And of course here you can get a citation, you can print it, you can share it, but uh, I want to show you now how to, how to search for those uh, options. Um, this is basically the, the how, do I, how do I put it? The, the general way of searching and the good way of searching, because this is how you should do it. You start with a, a general term, then you add another field or use the word and here to add another term. And the idea is to get to less and less results because you can easily, not maybe not easily, but it's uh, quicker to go over four records than 3,700, which is impossible. And after you re read those four records, maybe you can read the abstract and then you can you can eliminate two and then you, you are um, you're left with two more that you can maybe get the full access to and read and find out if it's good for your project or for your research. Do you have any questions? Not only Daniel, all of you. No. 
Okay. But, but one of the uh, one of the things Paper Kim is known for since since mm -hmm. long time is the the uh, the search terms. Yeah. It has a relatively good, well defined search terms, mm -hmm. and which I try to use as much as possible to simplify the the searching. Okay, is, I did. Uh, bank, I bank, bank is this the word in the uh, words in the theorosis? Yes. Um, I didn't understand what your uh, question. You have suggested terms. You you can yeah. use that as much as possible. That that is usually a good idea. Yes, that's true. So you can use this. Let's say mechanical properties. And then you see different articles with this tag of mechanical properties. Yeah, but you, you, you should browse the indexes. You can browse the indexes. Yeah. Yeah. This, the, the, the search is across the title and the abstract and, and the text, which are the indexes. But there is a, there is a drag and drop Bruce indexes. What is that? Um... Sorry, the drag and drop. What do you yeah, mean? Just above your cursor, there is a drag and drop rules indexes. Can you show me? But it's basically just left to where you are. Left to where I am. Yeah, rules uh, indexes. Where you are right now. Browse indexes. Okay, yeah. sorry. So you can either use to browse the publisher, the control term, which is those. Uh, author affiliation, source title. If you let's go for the source, source title. But, but I think this control term is what you mean, Bengt. Yes. Is it possible to get a list of the control term? Um, a list of that. This is a list here. If do you want to 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 download it kit to download it somehow? This is A, or if you want to go to A B. And you search by the index. Uh -huh. I don't see a way to download it, but you see, this, these are all from Papercam. So these are the control terms. There's it's a, another way you can, um, if you're looking for some, something specific, uh, let's say strength loss, you can go to S and look if you have any, any control term about that. This is. Uh, you need to just go to the next page until you see the ST for strength. Did they answer your question? Bank, did they answer yeah, your question? Yeah, basically, yes. Okay. All right. So, again, the idea is to have the database, the paper team database on this platform so it's easy to search and easy to use. Yeah, I think yeah, all these control terms are available. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. They are. But here, so this is the suggested terms that are connected to the term that we search for. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it will be more likely that you should use one of them than the others oh. or than something else from the list. Make sense? Yeah. Okay. Now, um, whenever you make the search, again, you can use different field. You can choose here different field. You can save the search or create alert or both. When you save the search, you can choose a different name for the search if you want to. And then under search history, you will see here all the, you see, you see the recent, but also the one that you saved. And when you save them, you can you can put alerts, and with alerts, you can use uh, if you want the the alert name, and you can use if you want other recipients. And the what idea is, is that what is an you, alert? Is an alert you, you you can have an email or any other um, type of format to your email, but you get an email every week that says there is a new information, new data that matches your query. So let's say now we found three results. If you put the alert 
And for the same search, there will going to be a new uh, data piece that we are going to add. You will get an inform you get a notification to your email that will notify about that, so you can read it. And this is great to stay on top of things. Uh, either there is a new field that you want to discover, or maybe right now we found only three results. Let's say it's not enough for you, and you want to make sure you're up to date. And if there is a new thing, you will be able to see that. Okay. Uh -huh. Now you can limit to recent publication only. It means that you will be notified only if we add something that is new. Because sometimes we add old journals as well. You can have a journals from 30 years ago, which still uh, matches this query. But maybe if it's 30 years ago, it doesn't matter for you. You can also go to the search history here. You can view the results. And you can set here, doesn't matter which one, you can here is the alert. You can just set the alert here. So same thing. You can either go to your search history or you can go, you can perform the search and then use create alert. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, if it's not a complex tool, it's a simple tool, uh, but it, it helps and save lots of time because usually the, the competitor to that or what people use if they're not using this uh, tool, they use Google Scholar. And what from what I heard, I don't use Google Scholar, is this. Google Scholar sometimes have things that you don't need. Uh, some, some, once in a while, it has some uh, glitch or something like that, that they have a paper that is not actually from a trusted source. Uh, again, it's, it's Google after all, it has great things, but it doesn't have the same uh, filter as other tools have. So this is uh, the major difference between this and, uh, and Google Scholar. I use in Google Scholar too. Do you find it reliable? Or you don't, maybe, maybe I, you don't use it. Yeah, I don't use it. At least. You don't use it. Okay, great. And do you have any more questions about uh, anything here? Then maybe what's the different fields or the... Which one, here? Yeah, database state, uh, all these drag and drops where you have the Bruce in the, what is autos, yeah. So databases, yeah. you have only paper yeah. cam, so yeah. you can uh, disregard. Date is if you want different, uh, if you if you know what year uh, were this um, article published, if you're looking for. Mm -hmm. You can change it on, only to, if you want only new things, so 2020 to 2022, which is everything to 2021. And um, maybe it has updates, so you can choose if you want one that has updates or not. Uh, language, self-explanatory. If you want to look for something in Spanish, you can do that. Um, by the way, if you go to here, let's say to languages, if you click on this icon here, you can see the deviation. So there are only two languages here, English and Italian, and two is English and one is Italian. Now here we have only three records. So let me go back. Let me disregard this one. Let me only search for strengths loss because I want to show you when we have a lot, a uh, big number. This is only 19, let's do only strength. Just, I want to get uh, a lot, lot of results. So I'm sure strength will give me, yeah, uh, 3,500. So if I go here to language, I can see now the deviation. Yeah, so most of them are English, the vast majority is English, then Chinese, Japanese, Korean, you can see here, and also even one in Turkish. So just for you to, to understand, um, most of the data in engineering village is English, but maybe sometimes you do need something else and you can use a translator. And that goes for everything. So if you go to the year, we'll see that, yeah, wow, okay. Most of them are for 2020 and uh, 2021. You I have, think we were limited not, not to open. these two years now. Actually, that's true. I. Uh, Forget about it. Thank you. Let's do from uh, 1972, uh, just just to just to see this tool. So yeah, 56,000. And if we go to year, yeah. So again, 2020 leads. <laughs> um, and you can you can keep 
keep uh, playing with that. You can also download it if you want to. If, uh, if you need to make an analysis or an assessment uh, and this data helps you, how, where was the, uh, the biggest amount of publishing in this, for this topic, you can download it and add it to your uh, project or to your article. Um, same with control terms and all the other things. Let's go here, language document type. Uh, just what document type you want. Sort by uh, relevance or data, or date, sorry. Browse indexes, we talked about it, and other stemming. And this is just if you you can turn off the other stemming or not. So it will, it will give you, let me show you. Let me close this. Um, it regards to the, to, the, to the suffix of the word. So if you use control, will it give you controllers and controlling and controlled or not? Um, sometimes you're looking for a specific, um, like a general term. You want to use control, but you want to see everything about control. So it will give you controls, control, et cetera. But sometimes you know you're looking for an abstract or a title that says controlling, and then you need to turn it off and to, you need to write controlling. Another way to work around that is to use quotation marks like I showed before with the uh, strength plus. And I don't have it here, but sometimes you have uh, different disciplines and you can, you, can use, you can use it too. The best practice is use general term, then another term. Uh, you can maybe even add three terms. Every term can have uh, here and or not, just to make it as, uh, as accurate as possible, and then refine it by this. So I would refine also by year. Usually we work with the new stuff, so maybe last five years. Um, if you want, if you know specific control term or specific country of origin of this journal, and the idea is to get to less and less results, so you don't need to go over a lot of them. Um, this, this is how it works. Now let's say we go here and you can read the abstract or have some more de details. And just a, a matter of how, how, it, how you see it here. Um, you can download it, the, the abstract, of course, not the full, uh, not the full text uh, in many, many formats. So you can share it with other people or if you're saving it for your project or something like that, you have it in this one. Could you define the the the, the uh, uncontrolled term? The uncontrolled term. Um, yeah. If if you look in in the in the all fields uh, list, you will see the also yeah. the uncontrolled term. What is that? Sorry, where do you see it? Go down in the that list. Yeah. Oh, uncontrolled terms. Yeah, you can use that. Yeah, but, but you you also have it. You also have it. If you go to back to the to this all fields list, if you go up to the search head. All field, Yeah. Yeah. As, and you go down in oh, that. I say so yeah, I'm I'm sorry. No. So you can go to the uncontrolled term. Yeah, and then it will just scan the abstract and the title, but not the control terms. Mm -hmm. Okay, because the control terms are pretty fine and the uncontrolled are not, so it will scan over that. Okay. But yeah, you're, you're correct. This is another way just to refine the number of results. Mm -hmm. And the less results you have, uh, the better it is and the more time you save. By the way, you can see here all the alerts. And the thing is that saving and put alerts is only when you register. So you see here, these, these are my initials. Mm -hmm. So if you are 100 people and using only six, um, it doesn't make a lot of sense to, to do it. Do you know, maybe it's possible to, to, extend, the, to extend the subscription. Maybe you need more or six. Uh, Every time is enough. That's that's uh, enough for sure. Yeah. Okay. But end means that saving and alert. It's um, it it wouldn't be personal. But if it's enough for you, can can I ask? 
do you have really a hundred users, but every time only six? We don't know how many how many users we will have, but th there are a large number of potential users. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. So how can you tell that six is uh, definitely enough if, you, if you're not sure how many potential users you have? Uh, by experience, we, we, we used to have a, a restriction of five many mm -hmm. years ago when we, when we were a larger organization. Mm -hmm. And that was seldom a problem. Okay. Okay. That's a, that's a good answer. <laughs> mm. I don't have anything to ask. Do you have any other questions? Do you want me to show something? Yeah. I, I, yeah. Yes. And uh, I have tried it myself, but you may show it how to save the research, the search result to EndNote. To what? To EndNote. Uh, I'm not that's sure what EndNote means. That, that's the reference uh, software. Um, I don't know. I don't know if you can save. Do you know that you want to save the search or save the result? Uh, you can save the, the search result and get it directly into EndNote. Um, just a second, let me see. You can do that. Mm -hmm. So to and not. You have it end mm -hmm. note in, in the format list. Oh, yeah. I just never use it. Thank you. So let me just uh, do it again. You do the search of whatever you want. Then you check the one that you need. You can either check all of them from here, but you can just check, let's say, these two. And you press on this error here, location, format, EndNote, and you can use the output. And uh, when it's EndNote, you don't have the, the option, but if let's say it's uh, Excel, either current page view, citation, abstract, data reference. And you can change the name and you can save your preference. But uh, yeah, so this is how you do it and download. You can also use it directly to Google Drive or a Dropbox, or your folder is folders within Enduring Village that you can open. But again, you need to register for that. And then, if you're only six people on six um, users with lots of other users, I'm just not sure how it works. So when you when you use it, you usually save to EndNote. Yeah. Okay. Good. Is there anything else you would like me to, to search or maybe you try to search and you have any questions or um, anything else? Okay. Um, so we, we covered Enduring Village. Again, this is not a complex tool. Um, it just saves a lot of lot of time when you search for um, for journal or for, for a paper, and the more you play around with the search fields, the more terms you put, the more and or or that you use, um, the less results you have, and um, the more time you save. And again, I know maybe that was maybe that was too fast, maybe that was too much. Uh, you're more than welcome to send me an email whenever you want in five minutes or in five years. I'm not sure where I'm going to be in five years, but you can send me an email and ask me any question. And if you want another training, that's fine. If you want uh, only one-on-one -on -one training, not a problem. You don't need to pay more for that, and your organization doesn't need to pay more for that. It's just part of your subscription. So please use it. Um, any questions, you're more than welcome to just drop me an email and we can do that. We can also jump on a, on a Zoom call together. For me, this was very good. Yeah. Thank you very yeah. much. Thank you. Very welcome. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Hey. Thank you. You're welcome.